In today's video, I'll show you how to create a viral character like me. <clears throat> Whether it's a Yeti like me or any character you like. And no worries, I'll show you how to write your prompt correctly on VO3. The prompt structure, it's very important to learn, so you won't waste credits. So hit the like button and subscribe. Yes, I will subscribe and learn more about this. As you see, guys, I made this entire intro using Google's newest AI tool, VO3. It doesn't just create video, it adds sound, talking characters, and basically makes production-level content in minutes. Most people think AI video is still clunky or generic. Not anymore. I've been testing VO3 behind the scenes, and what it can do will blow your mind. So keep watching, and I'll show you exactly how I used it to make the clips you just watched. Also, I'll break down the cost and where you can get VO3 because this AI tool is still not available to everyone. So let's get started. To get better results from your prompt, we'll break it down into three parts. First up, the character. Start by describing their appearance, what they look like, what they're wearing, how they're standing, and even what they're doing with their hands. Basically, include any details you want your character to have right from the start. The second part of the prompt is all about the camera. Describe the camera angle, whether it's a close-up, wide shot, or something else. And mention any camera movement if you want one. For example, is it a smooth tracking shot, a handheld selfie-style shot, or a static camera just holding the frame? Be as specific as you can. Finally, the third part of your prompt focuses on what the character says, or what multiple characters are saying if you've got more than one. Don't forget to include their expressions and tone of voice. Are they excited, angry, nervous, or calm? These emotional cues help bring your characters to life and make the scene feel more real. Now, let's put this to the test by generating one of those viral Bigfoot videos that have been making waves all over the internet lately. So, to access to VO3, go to Google and type VO3, then click on the Gemini link here. It will take you to the VO3 landing page. Click on Try VO3. Now we are on the pricing page. Here you can between Google AI Pro or Google Ultra AI. Both of these subscriptions has VO3 as their video generator. For I'll chose Google AI Pro since they give you full one month for free. Now if you can't access VO3 via Google Gemini, you can access it on Leonardo.ai, Crea.ai, or Hedra.com. Now that I have access to VO3 through Google Gemini, I'm going to jump right in and start using it directly on the Google platform. Now, to generate Bigfoot holding a camera and talking, and holding a microphone on the other hand, we will use the same prompt structure that I explained in the beginning. The first part will be describing the character, the middle is for the camera. The last part will be for what the Bigfoot character will say. Just write at the end of your prompt. He says, and write whatever your character wants him to say. So, this is the final prompt. Bigfoot holding a microphone, selfie camera angle, shot from extended arm perspective, dense forest. He says, in today's video, I'll show you how to create a viral character like me. Now, let's hit generate and see the final result. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a viral character like me. <clears throat> Pretty cool, right? I just kept using the same process to generate the rest of the video. Now, for this next shot, I want to add a few extra elements to my character, like a hat and a backpack, since he's out in the forest. To make that happen in VO3, I'll include those details right in the first part of the prompt, just like we did in the earlier example. That way, the character looks fully geared up for the scene. I put the hat and the backpack in the beginning. And describe the camera in the middle. And for this shot, I want Bigfoot to be walking. So I added walking right here. And the last part, like always, is for what that character will be saying. And here's the final result. The prompt structure, it's very important to learn, so you won't waste credits. Also, if you want help with prompting, you can use my custom GPT made specifically for this. Just head over to ChatGPT, click on Explore GPTs on the left, and search for VO3 Prompt Creator. Once you find it, click on it, and you're good to go. You don't even need to follow a specific structure. Just describe what you want your video to look like, and this custom GPT will generate a properly formatted prompt for VO3 automatically. The prompt generated by this custom GPT might look a bit different from the structure I explained earlier, but no worries, it still delivers great results. And if you prefer your video without any background music, just remove the music section from the prompt. Easy as that. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a character just like me.
Now, this tool really unlocks your creativity. You can do so much with it, whether you're starting a YouTube channel, creating TikToks, or just experimenting. And this AI tool is definitely going to be a game changer this year. And that brings us to the cost. Now, VO3 isn't exactly cheap compared to other models, so here's a quick breakdown of the price per second. Now, if you're using VO3 through Crea.ai, the cost for an 8-second video is around $4 to $5, depending on your subscription plan. If you're on the yearly plan, it'll cost you about $4 per video, but if you're on the monthly plan, it goes up to $5 per video. The same thing applies to Leonardo.ai. If you're on their $12 monthly plan, you'll be able to generate around three VO3 videos, which means the cost works out to about $4 for each eight second video. So when you break it down, the cost per second comes out to around 50 cents, making VO3 by far the most expensive video generation model available right now. So while the pricing is pretty much in line with Create AI yearly plan, it's important to keep in mind how quickly costs can add up if you're producing a lot of content. Still, for the quality and cinematic control you get with VO3, it might be totally worth it, especially if you're serious about making viral short-form content for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or even Instagram Reels. Bottom line, whether you go with Leonardo or Crea, just make sure you're making the most out of every prompt you generate. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and maybe share it with someone who's into AI content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.